What's up, guys? It's Elon Friends. I'm with my boy Clinton, and we just saw the movie Stuber. It's a comedy movie about it's a cop comedy movie a about, cop with that, an Uber in it. Yeah, a cop that can't see, so you got to take an Uber to do his job. And it's pretty much their journey, and the cop being the cop, and the cop making the Uber driver a man. The night on the desert. And you want to give your opinion? Oh, we probably should state first about this review out so early. We was luckily to get invited to see this movie early, but we're still going to give an honest review. So the movie's trash, don't watch it, that's the end of the review. Peace out. I'm joking. And you need to give your opinion about the movie first? You want me to give mine? I thought, I, I thought it was really good. The, the blind part was kind of strange, because he had LASIK. It's not really much of a spoiler, because he had LASIK very early on in the movie. That's why he can't really see, because yeah. it was literally that day. So, and after you get LASIK. Yeah, but sometimes it seemed like the movie kind of forgot that he had Yeah, because like, at some point he saw him, like, waving in the rain, and how would he be able to see that? And then, like, he could was... use his phone sometimes. You're like... Yeah, that, they kind of forgot about it themselves. That's one of my few... It was like a with... plot convenience, kind of. It was just like... It was... He was blind when they wanted him to be blind. Yeah. And he just ignored the doctor's advice entirely, but, uh... <laughs> It just didn't seem like a plot point that needed to be there because they ignored it, like he said, like half the time. Then you won't be able to use the Uber. <laughs> That's the whole point. <laughs> the whole point was he clicked an Uber and didn't know what he was picking. True, true. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 but it was really good. Really, there was a lot of funny moments. Some felt like ham-fisted in there, but that was that was very few and far in between. There was like maybe a handful of those moments. But overall. I, I went with the expectation that I wasn't going to laugh at all and I came out actually really liking the movie. Yeah, that was the same with us because the people, that was like, it's really funny, I've seen this twice. So we was like, oh, that's probably not going to be funny because like, they were just, it's uh, the company, so obviously they're going to say the movie's funny and stuff. They're not going to be like, this is a trash movie. They're, they're obviously not going to say <laughs> they're that. They're not going to say that to a crowd of people. <laughs> they're really not. But we walked in there, it was very funny. They had some jokes that just made me like... Like, it was the off-handed jokes that they did that would really make me laugh. Like, something they'll say under their breath. You're like, oh, shoot. I found one joke funny. He, like, bruised my arm. Yeah, was, they had a lot of funny jokes. And, like, the movie was brutal. Like, the deaths in this movie, too. Like, Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> it, it, they didn't... It's an R movie. Yeah, they, and you can see it. They, it's not like blood and gore is front and center like that's the focus of the movie the focus of the it's movie not is the plot now. and the com comedy and stuff like that but when there's a fight they don't hold back and that's uh, that made the fight scenes very fun to watch as well they seemed exaggerated but they were great overall anyway uh, then i like the uh cameo at the very beginning it's someone they haven't showed in the trailers but uh people you'll you'll recognize the person at the very beginning of the movie once there but I really like that oh, cameo. Yeah. Then Batista, I never really, because the only thing I really ever seen him is is Drax, and he don't really act that much in that. But like this, I really like his acting. I'm like, okay, because like you know, Batista, like they could pretty much catch anyone as Drax. But well, like in here, I th they, they, well, I think he did a very great job because the main a, character is pretty similar to Drax, so he doesn't have to go true, too far to true. act about him. And I like the dynamic with both of the main characters too. I yeah. really like that. But yeah, I think Batista did a really good role. Like he did, like this, he did, he did, this is my he first time seeing a whole entire movie of just him, not just like Drax. I know he did a couple movies, but I haven't seen them. But like now, I'm like, okay, okay, he could do more. Like I'm like, give Drax some more stuff in Guardians now because it looks like the man can handle it. Oh yeah, because he was really good. I like the daughter too. She wasn't really into that much, but she proved herself. They had uh, the uh, Uber driver. I forgot it was the actor's Stu. name. Oh, uh, the, the actor. I don't know the name. Uh, but uh, Stu. I really liked him too. I liked his little uh, Uber thing and then the other store he worked with. I liked his employee. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like that whole dynamic with him and his uh, workers at his other store that he works on. And it's it's a slight little love story in there, that movie as well. Kind of hits home to losers like us. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'll just say. It's a really good movie. Don't sleep on it because I wasn't uh, actually going to skip this movie. But I'm glad I didn't now because it's, it was really fun. It gave me a really good laugh. I haven't seen that many comedies lately. So it's on the funnier side of comedies if I've seen even seen a comedy this year. I don't even think I've seen a comedy this other, year. Other than maybe like, I don't think Avengers is considered a comedy. No, so this might be the only comedy I've seen. So, yeah, if you, you, you want to laugh, take the kids. Take the kids. <laughs> yeah, they'll enjoy it. And, We're a kid, so we took ourselves. <laughs> and yeah, peace out. Like, 
comment and subscribe and Don't you subscribe. you wouldn't have seen the movie by now but whenever the movie comes out july 12th july 12th go see it or 13th and when you go to the theater say eli and friends brought you they won't know who we are <laughs> who? but just say it peace out <laughs>